Good morning, everyone. Uh, I have my coffee here ready to go. Um, I thought I'd do a uh, walkthrough preview video of what's to come in the day trading masterclass. So this is how typically I have my screen set up. Um, I have Dow Jones Cash Index up here in the left hand corner, top left hand corner, and the right uh, top corner I have the diamonds. And in this uh, window, I have the YM contract uh, for June expiration because we are right now in April. And uh, I have my up and down volume and my advancing decline issues down here. <clears throat> now, the 15 minute I have for the cash index, 5 minute for the diamonds, uh, 15 or 5 minutes generally for the YM. So I'll switch back and forth occasionally depending on how uh, granular I want to get on the um, uh, on the time frame here. Uh, and then on the advanced decline, I've got a one minute chart set up, especially when it's, it has, has been extremely volatile lately. Uh, also, the up and down volume is on five minutes. Uh, I don't need as much granularity on that. Five minutes is fine. So what I'm looking for here initially when I get everything set up is to make sure, and I do kind of a test, like almost like a uh, pilot is going to test his instruments to make sure everything is working correctly, is that when I see the advanced decline starting to rise like it has, I mean, we uh, dropped about 200 points early in the session, uh, dropped about 200 points early in the session, and uh, I wanted to make sure that when the advanced decline declined and it started to go back up, the market also started to go back up. So I want to make sure those are correlated. I want to make sure they're correlated. So I'm going to generally what I'll do is I'll put in, um, I'll kind of zoom in a little bit more like that so I can see exactly what's going on. Every single red bar should mean that the YM contract, the uh, Dow, in fact, I'm going to go to a five minute on the Dow cash index here because I want to make sure that everything is correlated. So I want to see if there's a little bit of a decline in the cash index that the uh, YM contract is also declining a little bit here uh, and the diamonds are also declining. Now remember that the Dow cash index drives and the diamonds and the YM contract, futures contract, the diamonds and the futures contracts are derivatives of the cash index and they should move pretty much in lockstep. Uh, and then I take a look at the advanced decline line. Now, if I get a green bar on the advanced decline line, I want to make sure that that YM contract is going up when I get a green bar. If I get a red bar, I want to see it going down. And that's all I'm looking for as far as correlation between the advanced decline and the uh, YM contract goes. Uh, the second thing I look for is the up and down volume. The up and down volume has to be consistent with the trend. So right now it's below zero. I put zero lines on my up and down volume. I put zero lines on my advanced decline because I want to see, and it's actually very, very important, that when the advanced decline goes above zero and the up and down volume goes above zero, it indicates a change in trend, but also the trend of the up and down volume, the trend of the advanced decline line is also important. Right now it's going up. We've got a little bit of sideways movement here, a little bit of a pause in the advance on the advanced decline line, and that should mean that if we get another red bar, the, mark, uh, the YM will decline. If we continue to get green bars, uh, we'll see the YM go higher. So this is my real account. Uh, this is um, this is the way I have it set up. I, I'm also going to have this set up on the, um, the trading platform that I'm actually going to show demonstration trades. Uh, I don't use my real account when I'm doing videos to teach you guys how to do these trades, uh, only because uh, if I make a mistake, I don't want to lose any money, and that's possible while I'm talking and doing the video at the same time. Let me just state uh, and, and let you know that it takes a tremendous amount of concentration to day trade. You need to pay attention to what's going on in the different 
uh, windows that are that you have set up, especially the up and down volume and the advanced decline. Like right now, we're getting some green bars. They're very, very small, but it looks like what I do is I take a note of the uh, level of the advanced decline. It's minus 661 right now. If that's going up or down, I want to take a note of that. <clears throat> right now, it's declining slightly, and the YM is pulling back. But the trajectory is higher. And so that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the trend. And one of the ways I can determine trend is simply by putting in a little trend line. And so what I want to see, it's kind of early in the day though, we've only been open for now for about 14 minutes, but I want to see if that trend continues. If it, the trend continues to go higher or if it breaks that trend and goes to the downside, then I want to know. Uh, right now, it, we're still negative, uh, minus 663. The up and down volume is also negative. It doesn't look like there's any trend yet on the advanced on the up and down volume. I want to see if money is going taking out of stocks or going into stocks. The green bars indicate that money is going into stocks, pushing them higher, and red bars indicate um, that money is coming out of stocks and they're selling. So uh, typically I do not trade between 9.30 and 10 o'clock. I trade generally from 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Eastern time every single morning. And, uh, and I'll show you exactly how I do that uh, when we start the class on Monday. Uh, we'll go into uh, some live trades. We'll take a look exactly um, how I use both trend lines, support resistance, and also each one of these charts in order to make a determination uh, whether you sh whether I should take a trade or not uh, in that time period. There's occasions when I do trade outside that time frame uh, between 10 and 11.30 a.m., uh, but it's pretty rare. Sometimes I go to 11.30 a.m., but generally never after uh, 12 o'clock noon. Uh, my goal each day is on a single OEM contract is to take out $500 in the market. That is my goal every single day. Uh, I don't always hit it. Uh, it depends on how volatile the market is, but what the range of the day is. It's much harder to take $500 out when volatility is low because the range of the Dow on a day when volatility is low is generally about 100 points. Uh, lately, volatility has been very high, and uh, we get, you know, we're getting three, four, 500, 700 point ranges uh, every single day on the Dow. So it's much easier to take out $500 or more uh, in the market each day. All right, guys, hope to see you on Monday. Um, have a great weekend, and uh, we'll get started. And um, uh, I think it'll be a lot of fun. You're going to learn a lot, and you'll see exactly how I uh, uh, day trade, and uh, hope hopefully it helps your trading as well. All right.